How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button as well. Click on that little bell, too. And today I got another little vehicle to show you, so let's just get to it. The GWC G350 Crew Cab. All right. Obviously based on the Ford F350. Glitchworks coming at us with, the, with another one. Let's see what we can do to it. All right. For engines, looks like we got the uh, 6.4 stock, 6.4 tune, and the 6.7 bulletproofed. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We'll do that one. Gearbox. We got 5-speed default, 6-speed highway, 4-speed off-road. Let's just do the 4-speed for now. I think I'll change it out later. All right. For suspension, we got normal height, heavy duty, and monster truck. That really gets it in the air. Yeah, let's do monster truck for now. Holy shit. There's a lot of tires. Per usual, I should say. A lot of tires. Should we just go with the monster tires right away? Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, for winch, we got the stock winch, extended winch, high-powered winch, and the stage four winch. I'm gonna do the stage four because that seems to be the only offline one. It's kind of nice to have that. And you can put a little flat bed on it too. Hmm. I think I'll just keep the regular bed on it. Oh, looks like there's a lot of stuff to customize on this one. All right. Looks like we can put side steps on it. I'll do that. Roof, we got cab lights, and then a light bar. I'll do the light bar for now. You can put a visor on it if you want. Rear bumper, you can put the heavy duty one on. I'll put the heavy duty one on, that's kind of cool. Looks like you can put a roof rack on it. Ladder rack, roof rack, you can put the roll bar in it. I'll do that, that looks pretty cool. You can put a service bed on it if you want. Hmm. I'll just keep the stock bed though. Snorkel, yep. Front bumper, like we have heavy duty and heavy winch. Ooh, that heavy winch bumper looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do the heavy winch one. Colors, looks like just some regular colors with some two-tone options in there. Some of them actually look like Ford colors too. I'll just keep it the black. And of course you got bobbleheads and other accessories you can do too. But uh, let's go see how this thing does. That sounds like a diesel. Let's see if it'll pull a trailer right away. Oh yeah. Oh, just scout trailers. Really? Oh. Huh. Okay. I, I would have figured this thing would have pulled uh, the bigger trailers as well. Ooh, turn. Oh my god. <laughs> We'll take her down in a little mud pit. Oh, it did that. <laughs> really well. We'll just keep her in high once. See how long it'll last doing that. Put on a swampy town. Wow. <laughs> this thing is doing amazing. Holy mackerel. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, those trees ain't stopping this truck. That's for sure. Oh, boy. Get into the deep mud here. Or the deep water hole anyway. Goodness, even in high. It does not care. Wow. That was probably one of the fastest times through that. Holy crap. Not too bad. Yeah, that was really good. All right, let's go do some shit that it's probably not really made for. <laughs> All right, we'll take her down through here. Oof. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know that these tires are not good on the rocks. I know that for a fact. But they're not made for rocks. They're made for mud. Look at that. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Almost thought I didn't have the ground clearance there for a minute. But it did it anyway. Wow, I did that really well. Might have another excellent truck on our hands from this guy. Let's turn this big bastard around once. Now, if it struggled on the other part, I don't think it's going to get up there with, with this. It just doesn't have the, the ground clearance that it really should. Because I'm already, already touching the bottom of the truck there. I bet if you were to find the right line, it would, it would probably do it. No problem. That's okay. Like I said, these tires ain't ain't made for rocks and the truck is just a little little low. That's alright. Get up there. And bottoming out, that's ugh. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Whee. All right, let's go throw that highway transmission in once and see if it uh, see if it'll do a little jump, huh? Highway transmission. Engage. Oh! It's a little slidey. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a jumper, all right. Well, there we go. There we go. Even with those big old tires, it's not that bad to flip over. Yeah, this thing isn't uh, all that bad. Oh. Yeah. This isn't a bad one. These tires are really, really, really good in the mud. That's what makes this one really, really nice. All right, let's go put that off-road transmission and let's go pull a trailer. Well, and those that are wondering, this is the interior side. And it actually... Actually looks like a Super Duty. Huh. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, even the four-wheel drive button looks like it too. Huh. Yeah, let's go pull a trailer. We'll grab this trailer. Let's head on on our way. Yeah! Oh, God. Oh, boy. Hang on. Let me take her up the little hill here. Got her in high. Let's see if it'll keep it. 
I think it makes enough power that it will. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not a real big trailer or nothing, but... It held high all the way through that. That's pretty cool. I didn't see nothing for repair parts though, unless I went, unless I missed it. I doubt it though. No, I didn't see nothing for repair parts, unless you, you, you get the service body, I guess. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty decent. I'm really curious to see if it'll go up the hill. I'm pretty sure it will. But I've been fooled before. Let's try it. These tires should get me up there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's... That's what I figured. back down. Oh, boy. Oh, Brigadier again. Oh. I should really move that thing. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? I'll probably forget and leave it there. Yeah, this thing isn't doing all that bad. I can see why it's kind of popular. And you can put the flatbed on it, too. That's kind of nice. Carry cargo if you really needed it to. This thing loves the mud, though. Alright. I think this trailer has sat here long enough. Bye-bye, Mr. Trailer. You've sat there way too long. <laughs> I mean, it just holds high gear. Really, it's quite nice. Sit there, upshift and downshift, upshift, downshift. But yeah, I think I've seen all that I need to see. Well, that's the GWC G350 Crew Cab. I like this one. It's not too bad. It's kind of a plain Jane kind of truck. A few customizable options. Does really good in the mud and the water with, with these tires. I don't know about the other tires. It probably won't do as well, but that's okay. It looks good. It performs pretty well. I enjoyed it. Good job with this one. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.